In this video, we are going to look at some of the string functions. Um, in order to do that, first copy our existing data frame. So that's how you can copy your data frame using the dot copy method. Okay, now let's just check whether it got copied or not by using the dot head method. And we can see the first five rows of our data set. Okay, so now let's try to convert string values of a column to the lower case so for that let's choose the marital status column so when you're trying to change some values under a column you have to take the same column name of that data set on the left hand side and on the right hand side we are going to convert it into lowercase using dot str dot lower so if we just run the adult dataset one dot head again, we can see the values under the marital status column are converted into the lower case. Okay, so now let's check how the upper method actually works. So I have just copy pasted the line and for this one, let's just convert the column values to the upper case. So I have used the upper method here. And now if we run the statement again, we can see the values under the marital status are converted to the uppercase. Okay, so now let's just copy paste this line. Let's just copy it and paste it below. And now we are going to see how it works for the split method. Okay, so in the split method, you have to specify a parameter on which you're going to split your string so it's the hyphen in our case so i'm just splitting on the hyphen so if we just run it again we, we can see the string is splitted so for the moving on let's explore the replace method so let's see how we can do that i'm just copy pasting the line below let's try to perform the operation on the work class column instead of the marital status column so let's put the work class on both the left hand and right hand side of the equal to operator. So let me put the work class here as well. And now let's just change the dot lower to dot replace. So it will just take two arguments. The first one, uh, the one which we are going to replace and second with which uh, value or operator we are going to replace that one. So it's the space and we are just replacing the hyphens. If we just run the data set, we can see under the work class uh, strings, the hyphen has been replaced by the space. If we just look at the uh, first 10 rows, so that's how you can do that. And it has been replaced successfully. Okay, so now let's explore the title method. So if we just put the title instead of the upper, and execute this statement now let's look how our data set actually looks like so as you can see the first character of each word is capitalized so that's how the title method actually works okay now for the moving on let's look at the swap case method so swap case actually if we just run it converts the lowercase to the uppercase and uppercase characters to the lowercase. So if we just run it again, then you can see it just reverted back all the changes. Now, if we use the case fold, so case fold basically removes all the distinctions of the case from that column. As you can see, all are converted into the lowercase. So that's it for the string functions in pandas. Keep watching the upcoming videos to further enhance your knowledge. Thank you for watching.